Do they introduce us? We are mm -hmm. live. Hello and welcome. My name is Rog Carpenter. I'm the executive producer on Minecraft Console Edition. And it's my, my pleasure to welcome you to our Minecraft Console Edition panel. Today we're going to give you some glimpses of some features that are coming very soon to Console Edition. Uh, I'm going to introduce you to the team first. Um, by the blaze of red you see around me, you'll notice that 4J Studios are here. And starting at the far end, we have Richard, we have Stuart, we have Michael, we have David, and we have Paddy. Okay, let's get on with the show. It is a show, obviously. Um, and we're going to show you a video, a trailer that our friends at Hat Films have put together, which gives you some glimpses of the new Minecraft features, which you'll see within the next few weeks. Over to you, David. Okay. Thank you. Switch. Well, I hope you like what you saw there. I'm going to hand you over to David now, um, and he's going to talk you through using the Xbox. A bit more of detail around that. Over to you. Okay. Hi, everyone. So did you spot all the new features we've got coming? Right. Let's go through them in a little bit more detail in game. Michael, let's have a look around. So we've got end stone bricks. We've got nether wart blocks. We've got the hot new animated magma. What else have we got, Michael? And we've got red nether bricks. So is there anything else to show, Michael? OK, so we've got bone blocks here as well. What do bone blocks normally mean? They mean fossils. So, could you show us some fossils, Michael? Uh, it just so happens to be one of the digs that we did over here. A bit closer to that one, hang on. <laughs> so we've got one of the fossils actually around here that we, which we dug up earlier on. So, fossils come in all shapes and sizes. They're very, very rare, and you've got to dig down to find them. Have we got anything else to show? <laughs> to head back over here, just bear <laughs> with me. That chest looks a bit frosty, so what's inside there? Probably one of my new favorite features. Ah, frost walker boots. <laughs> right, don't cannonball down into this one. I think you need to walk out carefully on the Try ice. Not. So, it's a great new way to travel across water. <laughs> It's probably my new favorite way of actually getting across the water. It's much more cooler than being in a boat. Yeah, let's climb up to see that new igloo that we've got. Let's go inside. So inside the new igloo, we have a nice cozy bed to sleep on, a chest in table, a, a crafting table, and a furnace to keep you nice and cozy, and a little bit of redstone torch for ambient lighting. Is there anything else inside igloos, Michael? Uh, on rare occasions, you do manage to find... Oh, we got lucky. 
one of the oops, secret lips. Let's go down the dark, dark, dark tunnel. <laughs> Climbing down. So inside igloos, we get laboratories. This doesn't happen all the time. It's quite a rare occurrence. But creepy things go on down here. So we have a villager. Ooh, and a zombie. And some signs and what? That, that looks a bit creepy. Not sure I like it here. Oh, we've got a brewing stand and a cactus as well. And a cauldron. Well, I don't know what they do with that cactus. Right, I think it's time to get out of here. Ooh, try and get up. There we go. So, because we're in a nice snowy tundra, uh, there are also a new mob to play with. Are there mm. any around? Don't see any around, but luckily became prepared for such an event. Okay, so we have polar bears, nice and cuddly polar bears. Is there anything more cuddly than a polar bear? A baby polar bear. Oh, baby polar <laughs> bears, everyone likes them. I do have to say they have the best walk animation. Little baby polar bears. So, what else can we show? Oh, back across the ice in your frost walker boots. Okay, let's go up the staircase. So, we've got the new grass path. Where does that lead to? And we've now got the Savannah Village. And as you can also see, all the churches and the blacksmiths now come with cobblestone, no matter what biome that they're in. Anything else? Who likes beetroot? Yeah. <laughs> There's all the beetroot you can eat here. We've got beets, we've got, you can make soup, you can plant it, you can grow it. Great stuff. Very healthy too. So, is that everything then? I believe there is one more thing, just to give you a hint up there. What's up there then? Banners. So, banners are a little bit different for crafting in Minecraft on the console edition. So, we'll like to just take you through a little short demonstration of how to do that. Michael? Cool. Uh, yeah, so banners, cool new feature coming up into this update. Um, so we're just going to take you through how to actually make one. So you will need a lot of sticks, uh, a lot of dye, a lot of wool, and a couple of other things, depending on what kind of banner you want to make. And possibly a few years to create the 809 quadrillion combinations. Quite a few. So I think we'll just stick with one for now. So going on to the crafting table, you can see that I've got a new tab on the side which allows you to actually go to the banner crafting. And there's a few little ones to select here, so we'll pick our base. We'll just go for a green base for now. And then you can select your banner here to be able to then go into another menu where you can add many different types of patterns, again, depending on what kind of crafting material you have. For now, we should just go for a Oops, I forgot to get the yellow dye out. Oh, that one's better. Always leaving the dye behind. <laughs> right, so we'll go for the gradient. We'll go for the yellow gradient. That's better. And then we'll just add a creeper face onto this one. And then create. And there you have it. Simple. New banners. So only another 809 trillion, quadrillion, quadrillion. minus one <laughs> to go. <laughs> Better get crafting, Michael. Rog? Okie doke. Did you like all of that? Good. So that's not the only thing that's coming. Um, we've been, well, the guys here have been working very hard on a new mashup pack. Uh, and it's an extension to our mythology series. So we're proud to present to you the Chinese mythology mashup. Q trailer.
Before I hand you over to the, the guys who are going to give you a deeper look using the Xbox, um, I also want to point out that uh, you will have noticed some amazing music in that, and that's uh, created by um, a guy that's been doing a lot of music for us lately, Gareth Coker. He did all the battle music, all the tumble music, and the Greek mythology music as well, and um, it's pretty spectacular what's in here. I think Gareth might be in the audience, but I don't know. Is Gareth out there? Hey, there he is, there's Gareth. Thank you, Gareth, it's great. So anyway, I'll hand you over to the team who are gonna now show you a live demo of the uh, uh, Chinese mythology pack. Okay, so we started this pack uh, from the Pocket Edition's Journey to the West pack. Uh, they, Journey to the West is a, a Chinese mythology that has really sort of grown over the years to become crossing all of Asia and we just love the way it sort of feels. We expanded that pack by adding 15 more skins. So Michael, you can take you through some of the skins. Oh yeah, we have one of our favorite ones here, the Heavenly King. So he's got big shoulder pants, so you can tell he's from a big dynasty. <laughs> We've got the Golden Horn, who's a demon bandit, and his friend, the Silver Horn. We've got the Rhinoceros King. We've got Jade Rabbit as well, with a cute little bunny on her head. And I like this guy, the River Demon. He's a fish warrior. Let's go with him for now. So we're starting outside the city of Xiang, but uh, let's have a look at some of the mobs in the game. Mm, yeah. So for horses, we've got a mixture of normal horses, and we've also got uh, Chinese mythical chillins, which are mythical creature from ancient times. We've got a yak for the cow with a cozy little blanket to keep him warm. Spawn some more, Michael. <laughs> And the, the wolf is a chow chow dog, uh, just our favorite, nice cuddly dog. Not so sure he'd be a nice cuddly wolf. Uh, we've also got roosters uh, for the chickens. That might prove some egg laying difficulties, but we'll see. Are there any more you like, Michael? Uh, I think one of my favorite ones has to be the creeper. It's a nice jade creeper. Still as dangerous, but looks just as cool. Is there anything bigger we can show that won't wreck the world? Uh, I have to go into the menu for that one. Looking for the ghast. Yeah, it's one of the bigger ones. So the ghast is a giant lantern. Uh, he looks fantastic in the underworld. Uh, oh, oh, up here, we just love him too. Try and get round to see his face. <laughs> oh. Turns on cue. <laughs> we really like this guy. <laughs> so, shall we have a look around the level? Michael, do you want to take us through some stuff? Yes, so uh, this is one of the probably medium-sized builds that we've got. We have some quite large ones going on. Yep. So, so this is Chang, and up here we've got the Heaven's Gate. We've passed through the Heaven's Gate into the sort of epic landscapes that China is famous for. We spent a lot of time just working on the terrain for this. All of this was sort of painted by hand uh, with height maps, and it was just a great experience for us. We really yeah. enjoyed it. Uh, we felt it necessary to do focus a lot more on the terrain with this one as well, just because it complemented the larger builds and larger structures that we've also got. So, so we, here's some larger builds. We've got <laughs> Le Shan, uh, a giant statue. Let's head up down along the valley and see what else we can find. We've, we've, we just find that this is a really pretty sort of like texture pack to work with. This is the Meiji Shan Grottos. These are all real places you can look up on Google and sort of find. Uh, it is honestly, the, one of the most beautiful countries I've ever seen. And this map does have a mixture of like real world locations along yeah. with more uh, fantastical, mythological kind of ones as well. What, you mean like, what, dragons? Quite possibly. We can get up to his face, there he is. <laughs> 
So we don't really want to show you too much because you know us, we like you to explore, find music discs and things like that. So we really want you to sort of enjoy the pack. But we have done some time-lapse videos uh, to let you see how we built some of these things. So I'll play that for you now. Could we switch the video, please? Thank you. Yeah, as you can see, we're, we're, we're all smiling up here, so we love that. I uh, hope you enjoyed seeing all of that. Um, as I have mentioned, and you've seen the date already, starting from October the 4th, both these lovely little things will be arriving with you. So yeah, hope you do. And um, there was one thing I need to mention, is that uh, the additional thing for the Chinese mythology mashup is it also includes a battle map as well. In the first trailer you saw there, you would have seen a glimpse of that at the end. So, you can battle too. <laughs> <laughs>